Hello and welcome to the Topic Master Series presented by Edge Kingdom College. In this video, we'll be learning about simplifying an equivalent fraction. In another video, we learned about what are fractions. A little revision. Fraction is a part of a whole. A fraction has a short line in the middle and then two numbers, one on top and one on bottom. The number on the bottom is the denominator. It is the total number of parts. For the fraction of half we here, we have two parts in total. The number on top is the numerator. That is the number of parts we have. So what is simplifying fraction? Simplifying fraction is putting numbers into the lowest reduced form. There are three steps we need to follow to simplify fraction. First, identify the highest common factor, the HCF, for the numerator and the denominator. Then, divide both numerator and the denominator by the HCF. Lastly, rewrite the fraction with the new numbers. Let's apply these steps to an example. On the right here, there's 4 over 8 as a fraction. First, we have to split them up into numerator and denominators. Then, we have to find the factors of each number. For 4, it has factors 1, 2, and 4, and 8 has factors 1, 2, 4, and 8. We can see that the highest common factor is going to be 4. Moving on to step 2, we have to divide both the denominator and the numerator by the HCF, which is 4. For the numerator, 4 divided by 4 is 1. For the denominator, 8 divided by 4 is 2. For the last step, step 3, we have to rewrite the fraction with the new numbers. With 1 as the numerator and 2 as the denominator, the new fraction is going to be a half. You can see that on the top here, that 4 over 8 and a half has the same amount of shaded area, so we can see that they are the same fraction. Here are some questions for you to try. Please pause the video and try these questions by following the steps from earlier. For example number 1 here, 12 over 18, we have to split the numerator and the denominator and then list all the factors to find the HCF. In this case, the HCF is going to be 6. Then we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 6. 12 divided by 6 gives 2, and 18 divided by 6 gives 3. We need to put it into the new fraction, giving 2 thirds. For example number 2 on the right here, we can see that 21 and 49 have HCF of 7. 21 divided by 7 gives 3, and 49 divided by 7 gives 7. Putting the new numbers together gives 3 over 7. So the simplified form of 21 over 49 is going to be 3 over 7. Now we know how to simplify fractions. Let's have a look at equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions with different numerators and denominators, but represent the same amount. How can we determine if they're equivalent fractions? There are two steps we need to follow. First, put each fraction into its simplest form by simplifying fractions like we learned earlier. Then see the fractions. Then see if the fractions are the same. If the fractions are the same, they're going to be equivalent fractions. With these steps, let's do an example. We have a two fractions over here on the right, a half and four over eight. Using the steps from earlier on simplifying fractions, we can see the simplified form of both a half and four over eight is going to be a half. So the fractions are equivalent fractions. Let's try matching these fractions with their equivalent fraction. The first fraction on the left here, 6 over 18. We know that both 6 and 18 can div be divided by 6. So 6 divided by 6 is going to give 1, and 18 divided by 6 is going to give 3. Therefore, we know that 6 over 18 simplified would be a third. So we can match it with a third on the bottom. For the middle one here, 12 over 16, both numbers are even numbers, so we can divide both by 2. 12 divided by 2 is going to give 6, and then 16 divided by 2 is going to give 8. Therefore, 12 over 16 is going to be 6 over 8. We can see that both 6 and 8 are even numbers, so they can still be divided by 2. So we can tell that it's not fully simplified yet. 6 divided by 2 is going to give 3, and 8 divided by 2 is going to give 4. So the simplified form of 12 over 16 is going to be 3 quarters. Instead of doing divided by 2 twice, we can see that 12 and 16's HDF is 4, and 12 divided by 4 gives 3, 
and 16 divided by 4 gives 4. This would just give a this would just give the same answer 3 quarters, but faster. So we can match 12 over 16 with 3 over 4. For the fraction on the right here, 5 over 20. Both 5 and 20 can be divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 gives 1, and 20 divided by 5 gives 4, giving the simplified fraction to be a quarter. So we know that 5 over 20 is equivalent to a quarter. That is it for this video. Find more English and Maths videos by exploring our channel.